My main focus as an interest on fertility is that we have to have in the all year round calving pattern that we have to have our days of milk sitting roughly around 160 days and therefore we're driving more milk production from the same amount of input feeds that's going into the cow so therefore we're doing virtually from us we're doing less to get more and the fresher the herd is it just drives more milk which drives more profit. My name's Nick Strong, I farm here with my wife Emma. Uh, we're at Jam Brew in New South Wales on the south coast. We um, have 450 Holsteins that we carve all year round. And yeah, we have currently have two herds. We have a fresh herd and a pregnant herd. The biggest changes when I took over from the farm in fertility ways was that we had to reduce the number of cows that were causing lag times, even though we carve all year round but we couldn't make cows that were gonna cause the problems because then those daughters are gonna have the same issues. Still gonna have them in the dry cow paddock for six months, we're still feeding them, so for us it's very important that they're still very efficient. The, the things that drive our fertility on this farm is that obviously one, it sounds very simple, but it's the data. We, we're looking at our data constantly. Even keeping an eye on like bull fertility on our farm, so after so many like matings and that, we're keeping records of the bull's percentage and fertility rates. We use veterinary um, data as well. They're here once a month without fail. They give us a target range in every key performance. And we also train heat detection in our farm. So just not our AI technicians, um, not e even the staff at the pregnant farm, they also have an understanding of what heat detection is and that every cow that is on the heat has to be marked. Has our main technicians have to know about it and everything gets recorded. We will also go and look at the, the fresh herd. We'll normally go and look at them twice a day during the day as well, just for any physical signs of heats or double checking. Culling as a main performance for us in our herd is very important. Um, any cow that's not performing, any cow over five matings, we'll look at their key um, PI in the herd or if it's a, a recurring problem from last season, then yes, they are cold and they're, it's, we, we're trying to cull out that effect from like lines of fertility that way. So. The enthusiasm to keep this up day in, day out in an all year round carving pattern is probably learning from past mistakes and trying that when, when you do get relaxed, you, the time frame that it takes to rectify this problem is probably 18 months. And knowing what that does to the bottom line is the thing that makes you want to do it every day. And that's the thing that's installed even into our staff and understanding, because it affects their jobs as well. Main advice that I can give to someone is probably don't be afraid that you feel not as comfortable in certain aspects of it. Get outside help or get outside help to come in and do certain things, like for a time benefit, but just get outside help. It's just a major factor, fertility, and it drives profit. Fertility is really important, but to improve it, it can be hard to know where to begin. We think a great place to start is by attending an in-charge fertility workshop or by working with a RepoRite advisor. To find one near you, click the link in this video.